confirmed 100% officially today by OnePlus right here in Shenzhen. The OnePlus 8 Pro will use one of the highest quality screens we can get in phones right now. Starting with the refresh rate, the OnePlus 8 Pro will be stepping up and giving us a 120 hertz display refresh rate. And the name for all of the tech that goes into this and inside the phone to give that refresh rate, OnePlus are calling Smooth Chain. This will also put the OnePlus 8 Pro up against the entire Galaxy S20 lineup. As we know, those phones are going to 120 hertz refresh rates, which seems to be the standard for the flagship phones in 2020. Not to be outdone though, right before the OnePlus announcement, we saw a post from Blackmagic tipping some specs in their new phone with 144 hertz refresh rates. Of course, it's not just about refresh rates, it's about many other things and the overall quality of the screen, but it is a definite trend we're seeing. And to that end, even Liu Weibing from Redmi came out today and posted their own version of high refresh rate screens with the Redmi K30 5G apparently in testing to upgrade to 144 hertz refresh rates too. But of course, that being an LCD panel definitely won't compare to the qualities of OnePlus 8's OLED panel. Another point that OnePlus raised was the addition of MEMC. This is otherwise known as motion enhancement or motion compensation. The underlying technology isn't too important other than to say that it is something that we see in other high refresh rate TVs and gaming monitors. When images are shown on the screen, it will add in some extra frames to prevent any perceived judder or jumpiness in the video being watched. This is fairly subtle in general, but overall the technology aims to improve the smoothness of the display by taking the frame before, the frame after, and then basically interpolating it and adding in an extra frame that was never there, hopefully to improve the smoothness of motion of what you're looking at on the display. When you're playing games or just using your phone in general, this should be a very good thing, but it's not necessarily good all the time. For example, if you're watching a movie that should be shown in 24 frames a second, you would hopefully be able to turn it off. And I hope OnePlus give us that option in the settings. According to OnePlus, they are giving us an independent and dedicated chip to deal with all of this and not using the one provided by Qualcomm. 10-bit color is also something that OnePlus talked about and definitely won't get as many headlines as the 120 hertz refresh rate, but it's actually really important to the overall quality of images and videos that you look at on the device. It's good to see that on the PowerPoint slide anyway, it's getting a big improvement over the OnePlus 7 phones. Although let's just see them side by side and see how big the difference really is. After the event, a small Q&A session was held and some interesting details emerged. A question was asked about the size of the OnePlus 8 Pro because the OnePlus 7 Pro was definitely a big phone, big and tall, whilst the OnePlus 7 non-pro version did have a more manageable form factor. Without giving too much away, the answer was you should wait for the non-pro version. So reading into this, we can assume that the OnePlus 8 non-pro version is also getting a bump up in the specs of the screen too. And I think a lot of people would be interested in a really high quality 120 hertz refresh rate flat screen on the OnePlus 8. And a quick last bit of information on the OnePlus 8 phones, a rumor earlier outside of China that I highlighted saying that the OnePlus 8 lineup will all come with 12 gigabytes of RAM as standard. That is because OnePlus are looking to use LPDDR5 RAM from Samsung in their phones. And it looks like right now that is the only configuration available if you want to use LPDDR5 RAM. So it looks like that rumor does have some substance behind it. Of course, it's unknown whether OnePlus will maybe give us some cheaper options with lower amounts of RAM and possibly use LPDDR4X RAM. Of course, we don't know this, but it's interesting nonetheless. Subscribe for all the latest tech news, everything to do with OnePlus. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.